you guys, it's Lydia here from LA3D Printing, and today I'm going to be reviewing some of PLAS 3D or PLAS 3D PLA gray filament. So let's get started. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, if you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and definitely like this video if you do like the video. Um, if you don't, then let me know down in the in the comments why you don't. PLAS 3D or PLAS 3D, not 100% sure. Um, on how you actually say their brand, um, but they sent me seven boxes of filament. Um, they sent me some PLA, some PETG, and some TPU, and also their PC filament. So I will definitely be making a lot of other reviews um, on their filament, and hopefully they will be um, sometime soon um, uploaded. But uh, today I'm going to be reviewing their PLA. Uh, they sent me a couple colors of PLA, but I decided to use the gray because I have no gray as of now. Um, but starting off with the box, it is a nice, uh, smooth feeling box. It is nice, clean. Their logo is represented around the box in many spots. Um, and then there is a QR code and then the information right here, uh, that tells you it is PLA 1.75, uh, kilo, one kilogram, and then it is gray. Um, and their packaging again is very nice. It opens up like most of the other PLA or the other filament boxes and their spools kind of look like uh, Polymakers spools in my opinion, um, but they are very nice uh, clear um, They have this cool little design on them and then they have a little sticker here that also tells you the information um, The color the print temp and the bed temp. So the color is gray again uh, The print temperature is 190 degrees to 210. I usually print most of my PLAs at 210 degrees um, and then the bed is at 45 to 60, and I usually print my beds at uh, 65 degrees. So that just usually works for all my PLAs. Um, but it does not look like there is a Ziploc on this, which I usually don't use the bags anyways. But there is a nice uh, big desk kit back in there. Um, so let's open this and then see how nice the filament actually looks. All right, so I just opened it, and wow, this spool filament looks uh, like a perfect spool. Now, as you can see, this wounding is just amazing. Everything is lined up perfectly. Nothing is um, overlapped on itself. This filament just overall looks like an amazing spooling job, um, and uh, kudos to you guys over at PLAS or PLAS3D. Um, this looks like an amazing, amazing job. So whoever's um, making these spools a filament, good job on this. It looks great. Um, but other than that, this has no smell really. Kind of smells like glue just a little bit. Um, and as you can see, again, it is clear. So you will know when you're almost running out. And also it is nice that they left a uh, gap, as you can see here um, from the top to where the filament is just so that your filament doesn't like um, fall off the spool or anything. But again, the wounding looks great and uh, this is very smooth and shiny filament and I'm actually super excited to print with it. I have some Christmas presents to print with it and um, yeah, so let's hop on the printers. Not sure if I'm gonna be doing any time lapses. Um, I'm still trying to figure out the best way to do a time lapse. Let me know in the comments below what you guys wanna see. If you wanna see time lapses or um, if you don't, but other than that, let's get to printing and I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, so uh, the first print, uh, what I usually do always is my maker coin. This is at 80% scaled and it's just a simple test print. Next we have the um, strength test. This is the one that we'll be pulling apart to see um, how tough it is. Um, and then this is our retraction test. Um, you can see there a little bit, there is some um, stringing, but just barely any. Next, we have our um, bending strength test. So I will screw this into a table and push as hard as I can until it breaks. Um, and then this is our um, overhang or our bridging test. This is again, three inches long, so it did pretty well. Um, and next here, I just basically took that same model and made it a little bit bigger. And this is our support test. So we will tear off the supports and see how well they did. And uh, here is the new little test print for my channel. Um, it's still in the making, but this is just a bigger version of it. Um, and then final is uh, just a cookie cutter. Just wanted to test how useful this filament would actually be and on um, the quality. Okay, so now, um, first we're just gonna start off with the support test. Now this is um, flexible, so I'm just gonna flex it just a little bit so I can peel this away. 
And as you can see, support came off very easily, very nice. Now this is Kira's support, so it usually doesn't come off that easy, but um, it, it did greatly in one piece. And as you can see, wow, support did amazing on this filament. Um, it laid down great, and I think this is probably the best bottom layer I've ever seen from support on any of my filaments. So this definitely passed the test, and it looks amazing. Um, definitely could uh, get away with this for um, a nice model, and you wouldn't really be able to tell um, if it is underneath or something. But it is very nice, it's very smooth, and there's minimal gapping. Um, so I think this did really great with support. So next, we're just going to check out the bridging. Um, this is three inches long, and I'm not really sure what the measurement is here. I totally forgot to do that, but um, I printed this with some rafts, and the rafts also did great. Um, but underneath here, you can see that overhangs, uh, at least a three inch overhang, did not do the greatest. Um, you can definitely see yapping and stuff. But um, now that we know that support is great on here um, and it comes off very easily, there's no need to not have support. Um, but as you can see, there's lots of gapping and um, the layers are not basically together. So it didn't do great, but um, we can definitely use support. Okay, so checking out our maker coin. You guys know I always print this simple little print. It always looks great. Now this actually turned out really nice. There's no really visible layer lines. It is all very smooth. Um, the bottom down here did great. There's no under extrusion. Um, so checking out the first layer, it did amazing. Um, there's still some support in there. I always have a hard time getting that out. But um, uh, other than that, there's support around here that I tore off. Now as you can see, there's some gapping here. That always happens on all my Maker Coins, no matter the filament. So that's not the filament's problem. That's just sometimes the um, support material gets right down there so when you tear it off it takes that off too but this is always just a simple test so it doesn't really matter um, but other than that I think this filament turned out great on this maker coin everything looks smooth and nice and there's definitely no under extrusion um, and it is also a very shiny filament um, I designed this in Fusion 360 just a simple design um, it has a little bit of flex to it but as you can see my retraction settings definitely weren't dialed in um, perfectly for this filament um, because there's some right here but that is not a big deal you can always tear that off or scrape it off but it definitely doesn't have severe stringing there's no actual strings across there so I almost have my side settings dialed in but um, I think it looks great overall and it definitely tests the um, smallness of the cylinder and as you can see this definitely made a nice cylinder and all the way up it's pretty smooth. So next we have um, my new little design. Um, as you guys can see it's basically a printing nozzle and then just my logo on this little circle disc. Um, it kind of tests uh, the little bit of um, first layer. Now I did have to print this with a raft because it is smaller but I have now adjusted the final model and it is bigger. Um, but it also tests these overhangs down here. Um, this one is a little gritty uh, and it also depends on your cooling on your printer. So the cooling on my TiVo Flash is way better than the cooling on my TiVo Michelangelo. Um, if I did this on my Michelangelo, it would look really bad. Um, but it also tests these overhangs in here. As you can see, didn't do greatest. But again, there's no support in there. So um, this is what basically I expected. And this screw part here turned out amazing. There's no warping or anything. All these lines look great, nice and smooth. So definitely if I made a screw, to go on top of this it would really fit it looks nice um, and you can kind of see in there there's ghosting um, but you can't really see that it also tests the the lines over here you can see there's still a little bit of ghosting but I also think that is from my um, infill being a little bit out towards onto the walls so I'm going to try to fix that but other than that it looks pretty good on this new test so here we have our cookie cutter. Now um, I got this off of Thingiverse. It will be in the description below. Um, and I am also going to create some um, links for those other prints. Um, and I'm going to upload them to Thingiverse soon. So those will also be in the description. But this looks pretty nice. Again, I have some line problems, but is, that is not the filament. That is my settings and my printer. But uh, this looks nice. I will have to seal this with some um, food safe epoxy just so it doesn't mold or anything if any moisture gets in there um, but the first layer did great on my TiVo flash looks amazing everything is smooth 
and it went down great. So last but not least, these are our two strength tests. So um, I will screw this into a table um, or a piece of wood and then I will try bend it and then we'll take a video and even maybe a slow-mo of um, when it will break. Now this won't be any scientific measurements, but just how strong it will stand. These are both infilled at 75% um, with triangle infill, so there's a lot. I usually don't print anything completely solid because it's a waste of filament um, and 75% uh, or maybe even 65% is equally as strong in my beliefs. But um, other than that, we're going to be testing these. And this one, I still have to figure out some way to um, pull these apart until it breaks. Um, I believe CNC Kitchen, um, he has a thing that pulls these apart, which is really cool. Hopefully I can make those one, one day. But other than that, we're going to be testing out the strength now. So um, let's head over to the shop. All right, so first I decided that we will just be testing um, this instead of screwing it down. I'm just gonna see if I can break it with my hands. First, um, again, this is 75% infill with um, triangles. And um, so let's just test it here. So I can't break it that way, but let's see if I can break it this way. You can see those stress marks forming, and as you can already see, it's been warped. But let's try again. Okay, there we go. So um, as you can see, it kind of had a clean cut and definitely where the infill was. So um, I'm pretty sure if I printed this in 100% infill, it would have taken a lot longer to snap or it even would have snapped easier um, just because it is completely solid and um, PLA is very brittle so if you're planning to use this filament for like say a snowboard then I definitely wouldn't recommend it um, just because this is some general PLA and it is not going to be super strong so this was the um, just basically snap test so now we will be able to um, figure some kind of rig out for this and get it to test this. All right guys, so I have this little rig set up. Uh, I have two rope things that will tension it. I'm um, sorry, but I do not have a microphone on right now and there's some noise in the background. But um, I'm not gonna do any scientific measuring of uh, really how many pounds it can hold. I'm just gonna see um, how long basically it'll hold its strength and base and also um, where it will snap and how it'll snap. So. Um, I'm just going to be tensioning over here, and then we'll just watch it, and then I'll play it in slow motion for you guys um, after it breaks. And also, don't forget to be wearing some eye protection while you do this, if you do it as well, because we don't know if it will break. So there we go, it broke, um, and the breaking point wasn't bad. I think it only broke at one point. As you can see, broke right here. Um, and it was actually a pretty clean break. Now again, this is in a 75% a infill. So if I would have done it in 100, um, it could have gone either way, um, or broken sooner or later. Um, but I will definitely test those in the future. So yeah, now um, that's it for the testing, so let's finish this video off. Alright guys, so I thought that was pretty cool, um, the ways I tested those and showed you guys all the quality of the actual filament. I hope you enjoyed the new way I'm doing it now, instead of just printing um, some random prints that uh, doesn't really show all of the quality of the filament. This filament is some great filament, um, I love all the colors they have available. Um, I will leave in the description below their link to go buy this filament and hopefully soon I will be creating some more of their filament reviews. I had a lot of fun reviewing it and definitely testing out these new ways to uh, break some things and just experiment a little bit more with how their filament works. Um, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will definitely see you guys soon. I actually printed two giant Lego pieces um, and unfortunately they do not 
fit together and it was over like 40 hours of printing um, all together and a lot of filament so I'm not sure if that project is still gonna happen the giant Lego chair um, I really wish it would have worked but for some reason the Lego pieces definitely do not fit together anyway um, I probably should have tested it out in little versions instead of scaling it up 870% um, from the regular 100 but other than that again I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you in the next one bye